E, what's going on guys? It's Ben from Parker Bates. Today you join me down Parker Bates HQ and it's not very fishy at the moment, although the Parker Bates Lake there is there in the background. I've got a big old wedge here of orders I need to get out. I've also got to cook some OG fish today and not some good news. But I've got to head down to the lake because um, I think some fish have been absolutely mauled down there by an otter. Now we've had an issue over the last um, couple of months. It's been very apparent that there is something down there eating a eating our fish and it is not a heron so yeah I'm gonna go down there in a second check that out and see what carnage I'm gonna walk into but I'm not really excited about that at all to be honest with you it's a little bit worrying so I'm gonna do that in a second and this evening I'm gonna be going fishing to a local water and again I'm gonna bring you on my journey I'm doing a quick overnight tonight um, how it's going at the moment I'm not gonna be turning up till it's dark but hopefully I do get there before it's too dark in the background you've got the donkeys there making noises that's not my father or my brother my brother's not here today unfortunately he's down his um kennels so there it is like i said that's what we're doing today i'm in here with neil lots to do things to do and i'll see you in a bit well this sun is absolutely lovely me and neil are popping down there now just had a lovely coffee he's just made a nice coffee and um we're heading down to our lake. It's about half acre in size. It's, um different depths. Um, there's quite a few fish in here. I don't want to say too much because it's not under wraps. But I mean, we've just got, we've got a lot of pipe, a lot in the pipeline. Um, we're quite flexible here. We've got um, the flexibility to potentially build something bigger and better in the long run. But time will tell. Time will tell. And everything else. But here it is. It's a lake, baby. And what a beautiful, beautiful lake it is. Um, this was built sort of by my family, by my dad, and um, yeah, it was a bit of a nightmare to begin with because I mean we dug a hole thinking that it would just hold the water, but it didn't hold the water, did it? No, it just um, it drained because the level of clay within our um, soil here, if you like, is is not great. It's not, it doesn't hold water, so we're going to have to outsource clay. Um, we're definitely going to have to outsource clay when we potentially build something right in the middle of. That field there potentially one day. Not saying too much, like I said. But yeah, apparently these fish are up the end here, so I'm gonna have a look in our uh <sighs> key in the loop. So yeah, there's the lake. Um not found anything yet. Mum said they were around somewhere, so I'm gonna have to have a look, see where they are. But about here, oh here we go. Oh mate. It's just heads. Jesus Christ. Scales all here, look. It's just been savaged. That's a, I don't know how big that would have been, maybe five. Well, there it is, guys. What could have caused that? Get in the comments down below. <sighs> gutted, mate, absolutely gutted. That's all that's left. So, is that an otter? I would like to think that's not a fox. <laughs> It's not good is it it's not good so that's that i'm gonna have to clean that up in a minute so the dogs don't eat it but i'll um, just show you the other one here that there it is uh, absolutely savaged <sighs> god yeah it's not small mate not a small one it's just devastating it's just as you know it's the, the effort the time the <laughs> These are fish that have probably come up in the home. Well, they are. They're fish that have come up like that size. They would have been brought up in this lake. So they're, they're, they're homegrown fish. And it's, yeah, a bit gutting. But there's the lake, guys. If you haven't seen it before. Gutted. Absolutely gutted. In the middle there is a bit of it. It's about, it's about there. It's about a six foot. There's about a six foot. And there's a gravel bar that right runs through. They like to spawn this particular end. But then, to be fair, they spawn all over. They jump out of the water like the maniacs they do. Um, they're wild geese, they're not our own geese, they're wild geese. Um, although we have had our own geese on here before, um, but unfortunately we don't have them anymore for various reasons. Um, but yeah, look at that, doesn't it look beautiful? And a lot of people that might be watching this now may have seen I've been there, because last year we had a Parker Bates HQ open day, and um, the younger generation were allowed to fish our lake and that they did and a few fish come out and it was really good fun and definitely something to stay tuned for this year when we release our dates we've actually got a pipeline that runs straight through our land as well here um, if you're wondering what this dirty great big uh, hole in the field is now 
it's an SO line and if, believe it or not they fly over every I think it's every week once a week with a helicopter or, or, or a plane to check that nobody's digging on their line so hear this <laughs> my dad might kick me now and say you shouldn't have said that but when we um, dug our lake um, when we dug, dug the lake here yeah, once upon a time <laughs> they uh, knocked the door and said oh Oh, he's realised you've uh, built a lake. You're right. You're not. You're not over the pipeline, but you got. You got to be careful. <laughs> so what we're trying to put across is, is one day when we do build a bigger lake, obviously that's got to be taken into account, and um, yeah, we would have to be very, very careful. And obviously, a, little, a lot of time and effort we're gonna have to backfill because there's like a gradient going through the fields. You'd have to like backfill it, stack it up. So then you had a. Uh, I don't know. You put that across. You backfill it, so then it would be sort of straight out. But anyway, <laughs> exciting stuff for the future. Dad's over the back there with some of his lads, old Ashley and um, a few other. They're all walking the donkeys over there today, giving them walks. Lovely, absolutely lovely. Hey guys, so there he is, the man himself in the background. Theo, you've seen him on the channel before, guys, and also a Parker Bates ambassador. So in a second, I'm going to turn the camera around. And Theo's going to talk through his exactly do the orders very quickly to speed things up um, because it was just a hell of a lot to do. So in a second, like I said, I'm going to get Theo to go through his order and basically talk you through what this what this customer's ordered and um, where it's going. So we've got Justin here from Lancaster and he's ordered a five kilo bundle deal. Right. Now with the five kilo bundle deal, you can pick any of the products. So Justin's gone for a bag of 14 mil fruit and nut. Yeah. In the... Yeah, fruit and nut. Yeah. He's also done a 14 mil fish. He's done a bag of each flavour of the chops. So fruit and nut and fish in the chops. Happy days. Proper variety of everything, this gentleman. That's it. And yeah. also an 18 mil fruit and nut. Happy and days. Everywhere. So with um, that as well, then what also, else? You... Yeah. Also with the bundle, you get a pot of hook baits. He's chosen the fruit and nut wafters. You can go down on the click down and you can select any of our hook baits that you've got, bar the high vis ones. Yeah. And you can just mix and match the whole lot. Nice, mate, yeah. You also get a bottle of sauce in the deal, and you can also change this to any of the sauces or any of the flat spots or even a hook bait spray. So just down to whatever one you want. So there it is, mate. Thanks very much. You're going to be receiving this tomorrow. Justin, was it? Justin? Justin. So, yeah. Justin, you're going to be receiving. Oh. And also his four dumpy distance leads. So again, if you weren't aware, guys, here at Parker Bates, we've got our own custom leads now. But like Theo just said, um, <laughs> not the nail on the head there. You've got the flexibility of our mix and match bundle now. You can choose five kilo bait at your, whether you want 10s, whether you want 80 mils, whether you want chops, whether you want 14s, whether you want two different flavours. You can do that. It's flexible. And you can change your sauce and the hook baits to your choice, to your own preference. So there it is. Thanks very much, mate. And like I said, Justin, you're going to be receiving this tomorrow. So like we say, we always like to go through and thank our, thank our customers that are obviously supporting the Parker Bates wave and enjoying our bait up and down the country. So next customer is Luke, and this is going to the Exeter sorting office. So mate, thank you for your order. In front of me, he's went for a five kilo bundle again. He's went for the mix and match bundle. Um, this gentleman's went for some 14 in fruit and nut, 14s in fruit and nut, some 10s in fruit and nut, and finishing it off with two chops. He's also got some OG fruit and nut magic dust. This consists of 25 different food particles, very stimulating the carp, and basically saves you going out and getting loads and loads of different pots of different powders. We've, we've done that for you, so you don't have to do that, and ultimately you're getting a very, very, very good product there. So guys, if you haven't used our magic dust, and Luke, enjoy that, mate. Let me know your honest opinion on it. We've also got flat spots. He's went for the fruity flat spot, a personal favorite of mine. And I would say a game changer this time of year, particularly when you're using it on your naturals, um, flushing your, natu your naturals with it, adding it into your worm, and then hitting it with the magic dust. It just seems to work and it's been doing me good fish already this year. And then um, he's went for the white um, fruit and nut, 15 mil pop-up sale, which you would imagine he's obviously gonna do a different bed of the, um, the chops. The, the tens and the fourteens and then fifteens over the top. So fair play, mate. And then finishing off with our lovely smelling. Um, again, I wish I had smell of vision. If I pop this bag now, you'd smell them. They smell fantastic, and I'm sure Theo would agree behind the camera. <laughs> the OG fruit and nut pellets. Like I said, I'm going to box this up now. Luke, you're going to be receiving this tomorrow. Thanks very much for your order, mate. Absolute legend. Happy days. All right. So next up, guys, we've got Jamie from the Plymouth area, and he's ordered a 10 kg bundle. Now he's gone for. A kilo, one, he's actually gone for, yeah, one kilo of fruit and nut in 10 mil. Yeah. He's gone for three kilos of 14 mil fruit and nut. Yeah. He's done three kilos of 18 mil fruit and nut. 
and he's also done each of the chops and an OG fish 10 mil. So when you buy the 10 kg bundle, mate, does that still give you the flexibility at the website to change? Anything, Brilliant. Anything you want. So you can change the sources yeah, still, you can change the bigger the... bundles. Brilliant. All the way through any of the bundles, you can mix and match however you want. And on the order here, he's, you can see as he's selected, he's gone, oh, I'll have 10 mil, then I'll have a 14, then I'll have an 18, then he's gone back to a 14, back to an 18, back to a 14. <laughs> right. Then a fruit and nut chops, then a fish chops, then the 10 mil fruit. What sauce did he go for out of interest? Uh, he went for the bait spray instead. Oh, he went for the bait yeah, spray, fair bait enough. Spray so again, the flexibility, yeah. you can change the bait spray, flat spot That's or a sauce. Yeah. And then the hook baits? Uh, he went for 12 mil for, uh, fruit and nut pink pop-ups. So there, there it is. Jamie, you're going to be receiving that and this is going to be with you tomorrow. Nice one, mate. <laughs> We've got a dog over there in the background. We've got some orders here. It doesn't look much. I mean, it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, something like that. Um, they're the ones that just come in late last night. We got 90% of the orders out in the day yesterday. So they were coming in, they were going straight out. Some of you have received bait there that hasn't even seen a freeze. Um, it was cooked yesterday, bagged, bagged this morning, and then it went out. <laughs> so yeah, hence why we've been a little bit short. I mean, it's, it's been an hour, a couple of hours on since the last, or an hour on since the last clip. The dogs are running around like nutters. But yeah, <laughs> they're not in the factory. They're running around the actual yard, but yeah. <laughs> So this was the culprit that was making the noise down there when I made the joke earlier and said it wasn't my dad or my brother or this fella here. Look at you, you're beautiful, aren't you? It's the donkeys. Hello, mate. How are you? Yeah? Anyway, I'm going to love you and leave you animals because I need to make some OG fish. So first things first, we are setting up our custom machine. So there's our extruder and there's our roller. Um, what we do is we set that up. This is all cleaned. It's clean already. So basically then I need to do some base mixes Then I need to then put the base mixes in I need to mix them by hand then they need to go in the mix So they get mixed again make them into perfect balls. The balls then get steamed They also get double dusted as well guys for people who weren't aware and then they go out the door So yeah, that's the plan of action, but very very busy So I'm probably gonna touch base with you in sort of 25 minutes from now We've made all them base mixes We've got everything set up nozzles, etc and then go from there Right, so that is the, the first mix in the mixer there. You can see behind me, but we've actually, um, it's just taken a little while there for Neil to read, to, to measure all uh, the base mixes. Now, all of our base mixes are made in house here. I don't outsource them, we make them. Um, therefore, that consistency is, is, is a key factor within this. And not only that, well, I'm not relying on machinery. Um, I, I'm, I'm literally relying on my own brain to do it. And, and and weigh it up individually to make sure it's 110 percent every single time so that's exactly what neil's just done carefully went through it's made seven mixes that's a bit excessive but the reason for that is, is i can store them off because i know i've got then a 20 kilo mix of whatever that base mix will be with the og fish in this case and you're thinking 20 key mix is that it then again i keep my mixes small to keep that consistency there if i do it in small little batches i can just make it 100 percent every time so you join me in front of the mixer now and here is our OG fish mix. It's got that lovely robin red colour coming through. I'm not going to touch on all the ingredients, but for a more in-depth video into our factory, we have uploaded one about three weeks ago, so it's definitely worth uh, checking it out of the channel, which has done in excess of 20,000 views already. But yeah, OG fish, I wish I had smell of vision because if you can smell this now, you've got that <coughs> squid and octopus, it's quite strong, squid and octopus in that kick of chilli, especially when you just put the chilli in. <laughs> it really does whack in the back of the throat, but it smells, it smells lovely. And then you've got that sort of Indian spicy smell coming through as well. So there it is, I'm gonna let this mix. Obviously mixes by hand. It mixes again in the extruder, and obviously comes along here. And then we'll see the sort of the production line, that's how it works. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And um, I'm gonna let this mix 150%, and then we're gonna start the line. Happy days. So the 10 millers are well underway over here. Steam is fired up, ready to go. We've got six trays ready to go in and Neil's smashing it apart over there. So that's that. Over this side is Theo. So what are you doing over here then, mate? So what I'm doing is I'm just sorting out some more uh, OG fish bottles yeah. for the sauce, because it's absolutely flown out this morning. We've got <laughs> one bottle left in the bottom of the drawer. <laughs> so uh, I can't tell you all the ingredients, but it's mixed in house. Yeah. Now we've spent half an hour or so just mixing some hydrolyzed fish proteins, yeah. some chilli together, and yeah. the chilli. It is so nice. I can't <laughs> tell you what it is, but it is really nice. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've mixed it all together. 
we're going to get some bottles done now and hopefully we're going to have enough to last us another week or so. So you put the stickers on yourself, all that's put done in-house as well, mate? Yeah, everything's done in-house here at Parker Bates. It's all done through family and friends. Happy days. So, there you go, mate. Thanks very much, Theo, no the man himself. Cheers again, brother. Ten minutes. Right, guys, very quickly, I'm around the opposite side of the factory um, where Theo was a second ago doing the sauces. Now, what I've done is there, I've just put in, I think it's 180 eggs, I think it is, it's about nine eggs a kilo. We do small mixes here at Parker Bates, like I said earlier. So, eggs are in. Um, also, very quickly, and I spoke about this on our last video, our factory uh, vlog, is flavouring. Now, here at Parker Bates, I'd rather let our high-end ingredients do the talking than overpowering it with sort of smelling, um, over, overpowering it with um, flavourings. And uh, what I'm trying to put across is when you go to a shop, you smell the bag, and, and the customer is basically buying what they think smells nice. We're not thinking about the nutritional value behind the bait. Now, that's something I'm really for here. Um, main priority when it comes to bait making in my eyes is the fish and then it comes to customer. Um, ultimately the customer's not eating the bait, the fish is, so that's sort of the, the reason it's behind that. But anyway, I'm going to shut up. There's our flavourings. That goes in a little bit of flavouring with all the eggs. That is enough. Chilli, squid and octopus is strong. <laughs> so here it is, like I said, this is the Nimbus 2000 Egg Smasher 500. Now, joke aside, I spoke about this. It speeds our egg smashing situation up. All of our shells go in our mixes here at Parker Bates. Um, there's actually good calcium levels within the shell, and apparently, well, there is. There's 27 different elements um, within an egg shell, believe it or not, if you didn't know, because I've been doing some research myself alongside Nick the other day, and I found that very fascinating. Call me sad, but um, yeah, I really like I really like the intimate details when it comes to our ingredients. So there's that. Smash just a bit. Show in and all, a nice crunch, happy days. So Bosch, that took all of about four seconds, I'm not gonna lie. Smashes him up, you've got all that shell in there. And like I said before, you know if you've had an egg sandwich before and you bite in to it and you've got a tiny little bit of shell and you're going, <laughs> pulling it off your, pulling it off your mouth. What, again, what I'm trying to put across is, is when a fish eats that, obviously, as if you didn't know, carp uh, have actually got teeth at the back of their throat. So when they're crunching that, i.e. things like talc granules, CLO, seeds, superfoods, eggshell, you're gonna get that crunch, that crunch of like a peanut or a tiger nut. And like I said, very stimulating to carp. So talking of eggs, um, at the moment, we're probably using 3,000 eggs a week or something silly like that at the moment, which absolutely blows my mind. Thanks to all your guys' support. They'll watch the channel, obviously buy our bait, and they're joining the Parker Bates way. In the summer last year, we'll be using 6,000 eggs a week. So I dread to think what the this year is gonna do um, in regards to all your guys' support, and I'm really looking forward to it. And uh, there they are. I'm gonna recycle these. <laughs> As you can see, this is the last couple of weeks of our egg supplies. So there's no BS here in Parker Bates. There they are, eggs used, facts. <laughs> so here it is, the egg mix in. It's mixing, you can start seeing that robin red starting to activate the mix there, changing the colour of it and making that lovely red colour. Neil's down there now. <laughs> yeah, happy days, we're getting there. Look at them eggs. So after months and months and months of doing this now, we've learned, so when you put a new mix in, obviously there's gonna be stuff caught in this chamber. So we always run it out, run the dust out, put it back in, mix it again, run it through, mix it again, so it's like, yes, this does take longer, yes, it does affect production time, but at least I know that them baits are 110% every time. There's no powders caught in the side of the mixer. Um, the bait is consistent throughout and got the same amount of ingredients in, again, throughout, and that's important to us here at Parker Baits. So again, a little bit more of an insight why it takes a little longer to set up the machine when you're doing mat batch to batch. Um, and also, you imagine that if we were doing fruit and nut, the whole machine would need a deep clean due to it having obviously nuts in it, completely deep cleaned, and then you start a mix. That could take an hour sometimes. But anyway, I'm gonna head back in there now and carry on with these 10 mils. Happy days. And he's off. So we've got our bags over here, look at these. OG fish sauce. Happy blooming days. Wouldn't want to put that on the chips, mate, would you? Definitely not. <laughs> mouth a few times and to be honest it lasts hours. <laughs> you can imagine a fish getting it in their gills and being like that's all I can take for the day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Brilliant. Steam up. So there it is, the time is going off.
off. And if you weren't aware, here at Parker Bakes, we actually steam our bakes. We steam our bakes in this. First of all, I'm going to get them all out, so bear with me. Those in. And then the last two. Look at that, fresh as fresh. So we'll go back to that in a second. So what I'm going to do is in a second, I'm going to put a lubrication on these. A very quick, like I just mentioned, we steam our bakes. So when you steam a bait, you help lock in that nutritional value. If anybody's boiled their baits before, made their own pop-ups at home, I'm sure you agree with me, the water smells better than the actual baits themselves because that water almost bleeds them and pulls it out. When you steam a bait, yes, there is an element of water going into the bait, but not as much as a boil. And I think it makes an absolute massive edge when you are on the bait. So we'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to stop the camera there. I'm going to put our special lubrication on that you can't see and then I'm going to dust them. I'll show you in a second. So that is the lubrication on. And the only best way of describing this now is almost like they're sticky. Almost like um, you put honey on something. They've got that, that sticky consistency to them. So that's that. I'm going to shake them and then they go into our pot. Again, if you weren't aware, guys, when they come off their roller, they get hit with a 20% dusting as well. And then they come out and they get hit with a dusting again. So look at this. This is when it transforms the bait. Put them in there. Give it a good shake. Yes, very time consuming, but this has made them boilies. That sounds, sounds crude, but basically on steroids. Look at that, so you've got after, that's how you'll get them out of the bag when you buy them from the Parker Bates store, and obviously prior there, so you can see before the dusting, first stage, second stage dusting. They go in here like this, Theo. They're gonna dry now over the duration of the next sort of 10 to 12 hours. These will be bagged up tomorrow and obviously go out to all you guys that have made orders. So there it is, a freshest bait in the game, some beautiful 10 mils with tens of thousands of different food particles on them, and definitely something that's gonna give you an edge on the bank. Lovely jubbly. Right, I'm about probably, I would imagine, 80 kilo or 100 kilo in of the 10 mils. And I've just had an issue with our roller, something snapped off it, so all pa not panic stations, but it's all hands on deck now, getting that sorted. Bit frustrating, but it is what it is. I can't do much more than that. Um, sources are done. Um, DX haven't picked them up yet, but they normally come around three o'clock. It is hard, because obviously we're just trying to get everything in, and um, there's a million jobs, and I ain't got a hundred arms, so it's, yeah, it's one of them. But we'll get there, I'm happy. See you in a bit. Oh, lunchtime very soon. I think me and Theo are gonna go gonna go up and eat something. <laughs> so just before we go up in lunch, we offer chops here at Parker Bates, and I make the joke saying we chop so you don't have to. Um, it's very convenient on the bank. You can open a bag up, you know, you've got fresh bait, it's still had the same love and care as all our other boilies, it still gets steamed, it still get double dusted, so it's still got the nutritional value of a ball a round ball. Obviously, what we do is we put it in the sausages like this. Look at that, mate. Loads of spices, I think it's like just under 20 different spices, Himalayan rock salt, crushed hemp, and there's just a couple. So yeah, happy days, definitely time for lunch. <laughs> right, so that is um, lunch done, I don't know if I mentioned that, but I've got Corey behind you, one of the Parker Bates ambassadors, also known as Mr Longcast, he hates me saying that, but that's kind of stuck now, and I think everybody in the world, actually, whoever sees him on the bank, when you see him, make sure the first thing you say is, is oh, you mate, you're Mr. Longcast from YouTube, are you? Because they absolutely love that. That's so, done. <laughs> <laughs> so we're, go we're going around now, and I just wanted to show Cor the, um, these, these heads. So obviously, I, I briefly mentioned it, showed you this morning. Um, but after a bit of research as well, and I'm sure people that are watching this may have, may own a lake and been in this scenario themselves. It may be mink. Um, as well. Um, I think otters will bite, play about with the gills and the things, just harass the carp but not actually eat it. Mink will actually eat the whole thing from what I've read online um, and basically leave the head, which is the scenario that we're in here. But anyway, I'm going to leave it at that and I'll probably touch base when I'm back at that factory. I know I said I'll touch base with you back at the factory, but here they are again. If anybody does know what this is, please, please, please get in the comments. Um, I'm going to have to buy a, tri a trail cam, yeah. is that what you call them? Get a trail cam and then set that up. But I mean, there's like residue of scales where it's been munching it on here and there's even a bit of bloody flesh there, look. <sighs> God, a nice bloody gill plate, Jesus. Yeah, I've got a funny feeling it is Mr. Otter, mate. It might be. I'm trying to find some footprints or something. Or something, yeah, we have bashed it a bit of it now. I've been over this morning, so you're not really getting a true gauge, but not good, mate, not good. Right, wow, it's all went a bit patong this afternoon. So after I know you said to you, we had a bit of an issue with one of the pistons on the machine breaking. 
<sighs> the Bloom and Go, the Bloom and Tool Station, which is an Eastleigh, which is sort of local to me. Go down there, grab some bits. And we've put this stuff on now. It's almost like an aerodite, and it's and it's and it's got that uh, piston completely. Basically, it's going to hold it on, so we can still keep production going until I've all, well, I've ordered one of these parts. Um, I've actually got links and contacts overseas, um, good family friends as well, so that helps massively because this is an uh, an English-made machine. Another nightmare, but anyway, that should get me then through tomorrow. I'm gonna to have to then get up early tomorrow from fishing to then come here, which isn't gonna be in this video, guys. I still plan on getting out tonight, but I think we'll maybe end up at Cops, which is about 45 minutes away from me. It's not pronounced for doing fish, and to be honest with you, I've never had a fish out of there. I fished it three times, but there's some absolute howlers in there. <laughs> when, I, when I mean, um, the only way to describe it is not a pig. There's some absolute rhinoceros pigs in this place, and there's one in there I would dearly, dearly, dearly want, and it's it's um it's over 50 pound it's got to be over 50 pound i would imagine now um this time of year if not it's going to be a late 40 and it's a yeah it's just one of them so yeah that's where i'm at now apologies it's all sort of jumped but needs must and obviously main priority is keeping this production going because um we've got a lot of customers obviously we need to keep happy as a business so there it is. I think the plan of action is I'm going to be heading to mine soon. I need to load the car, load the van up, and then me and Corey are going to head. I think Theo's unfortunately isn't coming. He's got to head back to his end this evening and um, do his bits and bobs. And yeah, we're going to go out and hopefully catch some absolute rhinoceros. <laughs> right, well, we are finally on our way. It's just gone four o'clock and we're heading to Cops. Yeah, it was. Uh, <laughs> Um, a bit of a mad one this afternoon to be honest with you, here, there and everywhere, but like you said we're actually on the road now. I'm heading to Cops, I think the plan of action is, is to get there, obviously scout out, have a quick look. But probably to fish little singles or bags, little intimate bits and bobs today, not go crazy with the bait. We've always turned up, me and Corey before, and given bait to some means. So it'd be interesting to see not to go over that approach this time. Maybe little bags or maybe singles and show and fish if we see any. I say show and fish like it's going to happen, but I mean, from what I've seen up there in the past, and especially over the last few months, there's not much been going on. So yeah, I'm going to leave it at that and I'll probably touch base you now when I'm at the lake. I'll see you in a bit. Right, well, the uh, traffic's been absolutely ridiculous on the way up, and it's coming up to more like five o'clock now, and we're losing light already and fast. It's a horrible road you come down to get to this particular lake. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be there very, very soon. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a spot very quickly, I'm sure, hopefully, and uh, put some, probably just tie up some bags and put them on nice and neat. Um, basically go from there. So what I'll do is I'll touch base when I'm there, sort of setting up, maybe I've even got a rod. Um, ready to go out, so yeah, I'll see you in a bit. <laughs> well, the night's coming in quick, and uh, my head torch is gone. Just sorting that out now. Corey's going in the right, I'm going in the left, and um, there's like a tree that sticks out, so I'm gonna fish bag sort of quite close up. The wind's been trickling sort of into that corner and then I can fish one right off the back if I need to. But that's the plan of action. I'm gonna carry on now, because it's, like I said, it's a fight against uh, time, because this light is rapidly dropping. Wow, it's pitch black here now. Pitch black, and just made a nice little tight bag there. Look, look at that, beautiful. Some maggots in there as well, and some mini mix pellets. And then you've got <laughs> Corey's dripping like an egg sandwich, oh, mate. Oh, drippy. What's Very... that? PVA, PVA mesh bag dunked in the sauce with a match of the hatch 15 mil. Was that? That's the one. Right. Well, I don't know if you can see that, guys. But just there is one of our new yellow wafters. Um, something I've been playing about with alongside Tom. Um, they might be coming soon. I've done a thing. I've, I'm just playing about with bits and bobs. And I mean, like I said, I've been playing about with these for a while now and they're perfect for the PVA bags in our I'm just gonna fish one of them on a single. Probably looks better than top right of the screen. And that's what I'm gonna do. D-rig style, a bit of fluorocarbon. Happy days. Gosh, there it is, rods out. It is pitch black. It's quite cool. So I can use a light, says Marcus. But yeah, rods out. One on a single, one on a bag, like I showed you net there ready um, you got a fence up there you've got another lake over here you've got east over there you've got west over there I've done some video work before lovely little complex this is it's definitely worth getting up here 
you get five minutes, but perfect for me. And Corey being that, it's 45 minutes up the road. Rods look a bit awkward there, but I'm happy because I know the rods are on the money. Although Corey's going to be looking at them going, mate. <laughs> all right, that is the bivvy setup. The spod stuff will push tight. I'll put the rod, I'll put the um, rod bag in the van at night. Rods there, and literally, man, I didn't put the ground sheet on. I've got my um, table down there. Riddle, bare essentials, and that new bed chair, buddy. I was talking about this last video. I bought that from um, Angling Direct, and it cost me like thirty-four pound, and it's absolutely saved my back no end. No more baby back for me. <laughs> but yeah, um, all set up. Got to be careful up here because apparently uh, Monday, two nights ago, bailiff just come up and he was going, yeah, some cars got smashed to bits and um, some kids. Wax some bloke with a round the back of the head with a blooming bit of bit of wood. So yeah, that was lovely to walk into and him to sort of keep us in the loop with stuff. That sort of don't worry or anything like. <laughs> but yeah, Corey's got his very uh, sexy setup there, looking keen. He's on the money. I can't lie, we've both topped up with a bit of bait. We put some maggots out, mate. We couldn't help ourselves, could we? <laughs> Just can't not do it. Can't, yeah, you know. <laughs> I said, oh, but just put a little bit, you know, should put like five, six bombs out each, give or take, something like that, a bit of naturals. Um, see, OG fruit and nut pellet, um, some of our new shelf life we're testing, which is the OG fish, some um, some sauce as well. And um, that's what we've done. But look at it, looks cool, doesn't it, over the back there? Over this side, nothing. Darkness. Video's about to drop at the Parker Brothers YouTube channel now on our live premiere, so I'm going to watch that now. It's a Wednesday and it's an upload. Happy days. Wow, well, that's the live uh, chat done. Mug down here, and I've got a new mug, thanks to my mate Steve Parker. Thank you very much, mate. Much appreciated. Well, happy with that. Kettle's down there going. Coffee time. Like I said, mate, massive shout out to you. Instagram's at the top of the screen. fish it looks good <laughs> you missed it <laughs> coffee time lovely chubby <laughs> well it's lights out for me and uh, a little bit colder but again conditions are good for tonight but we're up early sorry it hasn't been um, um, jam-packed full of information on this particular vlog but it was just a quick one it really was just a quick one quick overnight I've binged them rods out um, on spots that I have fished before to be fair so pulled it through a couple of times knew that I was happy with my well I knew that I could presentate on these spots and then sort of went ahead and left it at that I haven't really sort of done much after that topped up with a few spoms like I mentioned earlier and that is literally where I'm at so I'm going to leave it out. I'm not going to be putting any more on or topping up or anything. I'm just going to literally leave them rods out till I leave tomorrow now. So obviously catch anything in the night, I'll keep in the loop. But for now, sit, watch the water for a little bit longer and get some shut eye for a busy day tomorrow at the factory. Wow, morning guys. It's just gone seven o'clock and we've now got to pack down and then the drive home. The joys of these quick overnighters. Wind's still trickling over. Excuse me, very mild night it was, very mild night. Everything was just right again, but I'm not expecting miracles at this place. I mean, you get a run, it could be a, it could be a good one and that's, that's what I'm basing it on, if I'm honest, and um, yeah. But another blank up here, another better than it was only a quick overnight here. But it was really nice to get out on the bank. I'm buzzing to be out on the bank. As you guys know, I love my fishing alongside Corey. So even if it is for just a quick overnight, it got to be done. Got to be done. Late week this week, I'm actually at Tobba or, f or tomorrow, actually, yeah, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I'm at Tobba filming. So that will be coming to the channel very soon, guys. But that actually brings this week, uh, this well, this video to an end, and I'm going to stop it at that really because I'm sort of packed down now. We've got this drive home, etc. Another busy day at the factory today. Got a picnic up, we've got to go in, yeah, so it's going to be busy. So there it is, guys. I'm going to leave it at that. Um, hope you enjoyed the factory bit, and um, 
obviously a little bit of fishing involved for this this video if you weren't aware we're actually heading to the big one show this year so we're heading to the big one shark farm bro we're gonna have a parker bait stand and um yeah i'm looking forward to it so if you are going to that show guys make sure you come over say hello but if you have liked this video guys give us a thumbs up make sure you comment down below smash that subscribe button so you don't miss any videos going forward so that's it for now that's this week's video peace out and i'll see you soon